All right, I mentioned we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff with this rule that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. What can we do with it in this case? Well, let's say that the question is asking you, you know, solve for X and Y over here. Okay, we know that this side called X is equal to this side called 5X plus 5Y plus 13. So we can write an equation, X equals 5Y plus 13. And the two other opposite signs, we can do the same thing, 17 equals 4X plus 15Y. There we go. And now you can do your basic steps that you guys already know about, right? So you can do your substitution. You plug in X in over here and boom, there you go. Four times, instead of X, four times 5Y plus 13 equals 15. Then you're gonna do your distribution, you're gonna do your basic equation, subtract stuff from both sides, divide stuff by, from uh, by, on both sides. Uh, and then solve for y. Once you finish solving for y, obviously you have to go back and solve for x. If any part of this doesn't seem familiar, right, you gotta go and review systems right now. Uh, systems is actually pretty huge in geometry and it just, you know, comes from algebra. It should be really quick to review if you've already done algebra. Uh, so hop over, do that really fast, and then come back to here. But this is what this is gonna be like. You're gonna use that rule that the opposite sides are equal in order to create a problem with systems. And then you're gonna use your skills of systems, substitution, distribution, all that stuff in order to solve for X and Y. All right, ready, set, practice.